Hey everyone, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and go through a league with this list. Um, trying a little bit different. I'm trying to take some of the things from my last Cultivator list and try it within a Karn list. Uh, I'm trying something a little bit strange in this list, which is I'm trying to play only two Karns. Uh, generally, three or four is the way people go. Uh, and it maybe seems a little bit strange. Okay, I'm playing two copies of this card in the main deck, and then I've got really like three cards in the sideboard that are enabling only a two of, but I think there's a possibility that this is just sort of a useful thing to do. Uh, like I, I think maybe some Karn lists, there's a possibility that I've been overdoing it on the Karn. Uh, Take down that sound. Okay. Um. I mean, I, I've thought before that really Amulet just, if it could, would just run like six or seven Primeval Titans and no additional threats. And so I'm, I'm sort of trying to maybe go for that, go for that sort of approach. Maximizing out on Explorers for this list. I want to see, I feel like Explorer is maybe um, well positioned in the current meta. So we're against Hammer here most likely. Uh, maybe, maybe... Uh, affinity now that I see Citadel. So, uh, our hand's pretty good against Affinity. Uh, I suppose I'll Cavern on Giant to play around, uh, like Metallic Rebuke. Um, so, uh, if they Metallic Rebuke a Summoner's Pact, we can just let that happen. Otherwise, we're you know, gonna be making probably two titans. And if our opponent's plan is just to make some big constructs, that's not really stopping us from just winning. So two titans typically um, attack for 32 damage. So that that's still lethal on this board. Um, if our opponent didn't attack, we might be looking at doing some uh, dryad type things or colossus, but. Uh, yeah, no, no need to get fancy. We'll just, we'll just uh, cast two primeval titans. Our opponent really only has uh, like nine t 
toughness in blocking too because uh, the first strike damage will kill the Memnite if they block with the Memnite and that'll shrink the construct token. So, opponent definitely dead. Right, so let's see. Uh, we want the Force of Vickers and the Foundation Breakers. Um, I'll take a look at the Engineered Explosives. Likely we don't have room for that though. So we can cut Colossus, we can cut a Cavern, and we can cut two Explorers for sure. And then I think I think I like the, I think I like the explorers better than the engineered explosives. I think I'm just gonna go on bringing in the good stuff, leaving in the Karns. Karns good in this matchup. Um, yeah, this configuration feels nice. Uh, how do I feel about this hand? I guess... I guess I'll keep, um... Turn 2 Foundation Breaker into turn 3 Dryad. I don't think I'm gonna lead on the Saga. I think I'm gonna maybe try and hold off on the Saga... ...for now. Um... So I'll lead on Forest. I might turn to the Saga. The thing is, Saga isn't really ramping us without a bounce land, and it does sort of expose us to different types of interaction that our opponent could have. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to hold off on the Saga. I, I kind of also see a world in which we want to start making Saga tokens at some point. So I'm just going to kill this Memnite. Um, it sort of uh, keeps our opponent off of affinity. Like just keeping their artifact count lower for things like Cranial Plating, Frogmite, uh, all their, you know other affinity cards like Thought Cast and their seven drops. Interesting. 
still think I'm going to hold off on the saga. If the Dryad resolves, I'll play the saga. Okay. Karn is a good pickup. So a little punished for not playing Saga earlier, but not majorly so. Um, I think the fact our opponent do hasn't done anything makes me think Metallic Rebuke is what's happening. So given that... Maybe I just want to make some tokens. Then again, I could play Karn to try and make the Titan Resolve. Karn Resolves. That's surprising. Uh, I guess I'll just plus on a land. Uh plays around Galvanic Blast a little bit better, which I think is really their only way back into this game. Okay. Yeah, Karn is good against uh, artifact decks. That opponent's hand also didn't really do anything. Uh, so see everyone for round two.